Ladies and gentlemen, we've said that uh, we are having a historical moment today. As I talk to you now, uh, South Africa is seized by this uh, transfer of responsibility to State SA. This is the first time we are producing and uh, announcing the numbers both from the production and the expenditure side. Under one roof, as we say, under one institution. However, having said that, the GDP production side is the headline number. To illustrate what has happened in this space, we are giving you the supply side and the demand side. And on the supply side, we have all the 10 sectors. And on the demand side, we have uh, the consumption by households, uh, by government, uh, fixed uh, capital formation, change in inventories, and exports, uh, less imports. Now, what, I what are the, the numbers and what is the headline figure? I'm moving straight uh, to the headline figure. The high headline real GDP production decreased by 1.2%. So it's negative 1.2 in quarter one. That is a quarter on quarter number. And uh, real GDP year on year is negative 2%, negative 0.2%. Let's remind ourselves that uh, a number of uh, uh, Media um, houses, does the central bank envision that they may that, be? Why are you um, my second question why are you is, um, by two weeks? Is um, it because areas? you are afraid and of And my second areas? question is, we've, we saw quite we've a... said that we actually publish our schedule for release a number of months, a number of uh, weeks ahead of, of time. This is how these numbers have played themselves out across time so that you get context in terms of a uh, uh, time series. And we can see that for three times between 2014 and 2016, we have had negative growth with the deepest one in the second quarter of 2015. Now, the first quarter of 2016, uh, we have a negative growth of 1.2 mm, uh, 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 quarter on quarter and negative two uh, year on year. And this, we want to compare this uh, with uh, the primary sector, particularly mining, and look at what has happened uh, to non-mining uh, growth. You can see that uh, there is almost half a percentage point uh, in growth, and of course we are giving you in the red uh, column uh, the growth across, uh, or, or rather the, 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 the quarter on quarter uh, growth across all sectors. Now, what about uh, the primary industries, secondary, and tertiary industries? Here we see that uh, the primary industries have been the main culprit, dragging growth by 15%, 15.5%, that is negative. And of course, uh, tertiary industries have just barely uh, skated over the zero mark with uh, the, 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 the secondary industries at 0.2. Now, in terms of the sectors, what has been their contribution? Uh, the contribution of each sector is given there. We can see that finance, uh, trade, uh, government, manufacturing, uh, personal uh, services, construction are positive, all positive, but uh, marginally positive. And when we look at the lower part, which is transport, electricity, agriculture, and mining, these have uh, had a drag on growth, all of them negative, including mining at 18 point, negative 18.1 percent. The relative contribution of these sectors into uh, the GDP are shown there with 0.4, and you add all that up, uh, you get uh, to the negative 1.2, and of course you get taxes uh, in there included. Uh, and that will give you 1.2. Growth, growth rates by sector, we've already said negative 15.15%, uh, but the primary sector, agriculture, negative 6.5. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, uh, mining, 18.1. Uh, secondary sectors, uh, the growth 
was up 1.2%, uh, manufacturing 1%, electricity uh, negative 28 and construction uh, half a percent. That gives you uh, the 0.2% the, the growth uh, in, this, in, the, in this sector. And of course, electricity, the demand was lower because manufacturing was lower, because the world uh, uh, demand for goods and services is lower, and uh, mining also has been lower. So the demand for electricity has meant uh, the demand for, uh, would be uh, lower there as well. Looking at the tertiary sector, the growth is 0.8%, uh, with trade growing at 1.3%, government 1.1%, transport negative 2.7%, finance at 1.9%, and personal services at 0.6. And overall growth in the tertiary sector, 0.8. So these are the, 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 the numbers. And of course, uh, the nominal values of the GDP that is uh, without uh, uh, removing effects of inflation. Uh, this is what uh, the GDP, uh, nominal GDP for the first quarter is uh, 1.043 trillion uh, rents, almost said dollars. And of course, with agriculture, expanding by about 12 billion to 23 billion, finance 9 billion, uh, transport 9 billion to 89, and trade decreasing by 13 billion. This is the share of uh, each of the sectors uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the GDP, 22% finance, which is quite an increasing sector, trade 15%, and manufacturing, a uh, government uh, another 18, 18%, I said finance is 22 and manufacturing uh, 13%. Now, the little baby that uh, we have just uh, received from uh, uh, the governor, let's see how that has performed in terms of uh, expenditure side of uh, the GDP. Remember, the headline figure is the production one. Now, what we got here is uh, that two uh, is negative 0.7 in quarter one. That is quarter on quarter. And I'll give you the, the, the table, uh, or rather a time series on this, showing similar patterns, uh, three, three quarters uh, from 2014 uh, to 2016 experienced a negative growth. You will recall the first slide where we are talking about where the money is spent. Spent by government, is spent by households, is spent uh, on gross fixed capital formation. Uh, we have exports and, uh, and, uh, and imports. And of course, uh, we have uh, imports of goods and services. Only government expenditure was positive at 1%, uh, and the rest are negative, ranging from 1.3%, and the West at 7.1% on exports. Which impaid the notion that the global market is flat. Uh, and then, of course, let's look at each individual expenditure uh, component of this household expenditure. Household expenditure grew negative 1.3 in the first quarter, and uh, th th that's what, uh, what that is. And then in terms of time series, uh, this is the worst decline in household expenditure if we look at uh, the time series here, uh, quarter on quarter. Then we look at uh, uh, household expenditure by purpose. For what purpose do you use the money? Health takes a larger share. Uh, furniture, uh, that alcohol, of course, uh, comes in uh, at a larger share than 3.5, uh, housing, uh, 3.2, and then the negatives here, uh, miscellaneous and transport, uh, comes at a very high cost, uh, 9%. Now, on the left-hand side, uh, we have uh, the, the growth rates, and on the right-hand side, we have contributions, the RHS. And, uh, now, these are the relative contributions uh, in the expenditure side of uh, semi-durable goods and non-durable goods, uh, those have uh, contributed positively, but the durable goods uh, and services uh, have contributed negatively uh, in this. And those durable goods are the things that uh, you buy to last. Uh, what about government expenditure? You said that it's grown by 1%. We are talking about uh, household uh, final expenditure. Uh, here we are looking at government expenditure. Uh, government expenditure uh, has been positive, and we only have one experience of a negative growth in government expenditure in the first quarter of 2015. Gross capital formation, here we are looking at gross for capital formation, uh, fi gross fixed capital formation, uh, negative 6%. Uh, percent. 
and we see uh, the the oil wing uh, gross fixed capital formation over the, 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 the years, particularly from quarter one of 2014 uh, to quarter 16, we have had four instances where growth has been negative in terms of a gross uh, fixed capital formation. Uh, by type of assets, where, what are, uh, are this, uh, the other assets, 12.8, uh, construction, 7.9, uh, transfer cost 3.4, and where it's negative, we have machinery uh, that has grown negatively, uh, non-residential buildings, uh, negative transport equipment, negative, and of course, uh, residential buildings also uh, negative. The change in inventories as part of uh, the expenditure side of the GDP, here we see uh, five quarters in the period 2014 uh, to 2016 showing uh, negative uh, uh, numbers uh, in terms of expenditure. Uh, of course, in the first quarter of 2016, uh, inventories uh, have been positive at uh, 3.4 billion rands. Exports minus imports, oh my God, the mathematical equation is always very wonderful. Minus 7.1 and minus 7.1 on the other. What you export is what you... Uh, 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 so in this first quarter, imports of goods have decreased by minus 7.1, and export of goods also by the same kind of magnitude. And what, uh, what were the, the, the drivers of this? Export growth rates uh, in 2014, we can see almost a slump uh, in the third quarter of 20, second quarter of 2014, where it grew negative 22%. At the rest of the period, obviously, we see a different uh, uh, growth rate, negative still, uh, but four quarters uh, on uh, exports. And then, of course, on the import side, uh, we see a different uh, pattern, uh, not slumping to the same extent of the exports, but the imports declining uh, to 18% in the fourth quarter of 2013, and uh, in the first quarter of 2016, uh, we have got uh, negative 